when Property Brothers star Drew Scott and his love, Linda Fawn, got hitched in Italy on May 12th. They were coming off a whirlwind few months with the filming of their spin-off show while traveling from locale to locale to document yet another HGTV series. As a result, in contrast to their usual home projects, they entrusted a third party to handle the bulk of the planning, while making sure they didn't lose their initial vision of a fun-filled fate that was both whimsical and intimate. We wanted to make sure that our wedding felt very personal and that every detail had our signatures on it. Fawn, 33. Tells the not. Drew Scott and Linda Fawn wedding. May 2018. Italy. Credit Denny Selich to execute on the concept, the reality duo worked with wedding planner Roni Ravello to bring their wedding dreams to life. She made everything so easy and offered a great balance between us wanting to be hands-on leading up to it, while making sure that we didn't have to worry about any details as soon as we landed in Italy. We're thankful that she was able to work independently taking all of our desires and running with them. Among the details that Fawn and Scott, 40, wanted to highlight were elements from both of their heritages they held a Chinese tea ceremony the day after the wedding, and Scott wore a traditional Scottish kilt and tuxedo for the ceremony. Sustainability was also a focus with the couple partnering with WE to tie their wedding to their passion for access to clean water and charitable causes. Finally, dance was essential in the bride and groom, with their wedding party. Performed a number choreographed by Scott's former Dancing with the Stars partner Emma Slater and her husband, Sasha Farber. Get all the inside scoop on the couple's scenic, thoughtfully orchestrated wedding below. The venue both Scott and Fawn knew they wanted to have a destination wedding, and the Borgo Agnesia Hotel in Puglia, Italy, provided just the right amount of charm, beauty and warm family feel that the pair was looking for. They exchanged vows before their 300 guests outdoors under lush four-post halter and the reception was held just inside the resort. According to the site, Borgo Agnesia is located in the heart of Puglia, immersed among the ancient olive groves of the Adria Valley and only steps away from the crystal blue Adriatic Sea of Savalidre. The dress both Fawn's wedding and reception dresses were designed by LA-based designer Claire Pettibone. Her wedding gown featured a cathedral-length train, as well as hand-beaded silk floral detailing across the sleeves and the bodice of the gown. The dress featured an open back while the waist of the gown featured hand-beaded pearls and lace. For her reception, Fawn changed into a more fitted style dress. This one was an almond, cream-layered lace dress and didn't have a train so that I could dance the night away, she says. The hair and makeup because of her busy work schedule, Fawn didn't have time to do a trial for her hair and makeup so she completely relied on her hair and makeup team and bridesmaids. Marnie Brooks and Annalie Bell to concoct something wedding worthy. I wanted something romantic and laid back, she says. I completely trusted them to come up with a look that still felt like me. The groom's looks kit's outfit for the big day held a great deal of significance as well. The HGTV star donned a traditional Scottish kilt and tuxedo by Claymore Imports during the wedding ceremony itself to honor his Scottish heritage. The kilt was a Scott Clantartan Scott Green weathered, and his accessories, like the sparren, even bore the Scott family crest. Scott changed for the reception, donning a sleek custom dark green tuxedo by gut style, which also has its own fun backstory. The couple's good friends Charlotte and Wes were the reason they had met in the first place, at a gut style fashion show, of all places. The color Scott's dark green tuxedo also fit right in with the couple's colors for the evening, a blush and emerald combination. Fawn managed to incorporate those colors into her own dress, the bridesmaids' dresses they were a deep emerald green, the ceremony and the reception. The stationery as the creative director of Scott Global, Fawn nationally had a few thoughts on how to personalize the stationery and look and feel of the ceremony. She included a personalized wedding monogram on all of the printed programs and even had stamps made of the monogram to use for things like thank you cards for the guests after the wedding itself. At the rehearsal dinner, which included a much smaller party of 50, Fawn made hand-designed vellum placemats that highlighted all the places that she and Scott considered special to their relationship. She also had little handwritten name tags tied to pairs and personalized stickers on each piece of fruit with a wedding date and a small sentiment that read, nothing compares to you. The florals the couple worked with.